Hey guys, so taking a little chill break here for a few hours. It was a eventful day. We saw San Marcos Plaza and San Marcos Basilica and the Watchtower and the and the uh, Doge's Palace. It's been very interesting and an action-packed day. And uh, you know, so to relax, um, I decided to buy a bottle of wine that is local to to. Um, this region of Italy, it's fantastic. You know, I, I just wanted to say, you know, travel is so fantastic. I think of it this way, you know, and I'll appeal to the, the younger generation, to the gamers. So let's say, let's say you're playing some open world game and you start in this little village and, and you look at the graphics and you go, wow, this is fantastic. You know, this is, this is, best game I've ever played and then as you start exploring the map that is initially blacked out you start uh, you know exploring these little places that are previously were unknown to you and usually in video games you know as you progress things get grand grander and grander and um, you go wow this place is better than what I was where I was before and so as you go through the video game you go, wow, this world is fantastic. And you're excited to explore it and you're excited to open up that blacked out map. And by the end of the game, you go, wow, this was such a great open world game. And I would like to draw a parallel to um, to our world because it's re really, that's what it is. You know, I was born in Ukraine, then I moved to Canada when I was 10. And so for me, the world was very, uh, to me, to, the world consisted of these places, you know, a little bit of Eastern Europe, um, you know, Northern America. But when you travel, you start unlocking these blacked out places on the map. And all of a sudden, you know, the complexity and the beauty start shining through and, and you go like, wow, so this is what the world is like, right? Wow, so there's places like Norway, there's places like London, there's places like Venice and Italy, and you know, we're, we'll do a little bit more traveling here pretty soon, but you know what I mean? So it's it, it, it just increases your perspective exponentially. And you start looking at things through a different prism and um, you see how people interact with each other, you see different cultures, you try different food, you see uh, works of art that impact you greatly, and, um, and then you start seeing the whole world, your whole perception changes. And um, it enriches the way you look at things. So I would suggest you do travel. Um, my little advice is, you know, travel while you are young, because a lot of places that you, that you go to require a lot of walking, a lot of hiking. And so when you're young, you can do those things without, you know, being, being run down. So, so start young and um, go and explore. But maybe, you know, don't start too young. Like, for example, if you if you're right out of high school and you want to do like three years off before you go to university, it'll be awesome. You'll have tons of fun. Um, I, I did. I started most of my traveling after university, and um, the uh, the the things that I learned while I was doing my bachelor degree have greatly impacted the way I perceive travel now. So, for example, I I learned that I like history a lot. I learned a little bit about history during my bachelor and afterwards in my readings. And so when I go to places like Venice, you know, I have a uh, a uh, narrow down um, goal in mind. So I, I, I look for things that I that interest me and these things will help me in my future life. So so if you travel maybe after university, I think that's the golden time to travel. You you sort of have enough perception to um, to know what you're looking for, but you're young enough to do activities that you need to do. 
So I think right after you finish your bachelor, you should start making some efforts to move around the world and explore these blacked out pieces of the map and discover the fullness of our beautiful, beautiful planet.